fuck is Governor Andrew Cuomo really? There's all this fawning happening about uh, Governor Governor Andrew Cuomo. Boy, people like this guy a lot. Who the fuck is he? Where did he come from? You know, um, I've I've heard of Andrew Cuomo in passing, mostly. You know, um, he he's never been somebody that I particularly cared about. And then uh, I forgot that his brother was on CNN and I don't like his brother. <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at. Um, so that's my introduction to Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York. Um, and a lot of people like him, especially now there's this like overwhelming amount of fawning uh, for the last month over, you know, Andrew Cuomo. And a lot of people are just like, oh, my God, this guy. Oh, can we trade Joe Biden for Andrew Cuomo? Please, please, can we do that? That'd be so great if we could trade in the Biden for the Cuomo. Um, and the reason why people like him is because, you know, he's got this poised, empathetic briefings that he's doing during the pandemic. And, um, and, and and as we just talked about, Joe Biden, no empathy. No empathy for these millennial, fuck these people, huh? These goddamn working class people coming in, asking me for basic human rights, for treating health care as a human right instead of a goddamn... Pre you got to earn it. You got to earn your health care. You, you're dying of pancreatic cancer. What did you do to earn hospital treatment? You piece of shit. That's, you know, they're like, well, I don't know if that guy's going to be great. Uh, and now everybody's like, oh, Cuomo, Cuomo can do it. He's so nice. He, he says these things. He doesn't call millennials a piece of shit. You know, he doesn't yell at cancer patients or sniff uh, girls. <laughs> Jack, is that the, is that the barometer? <laughs> is, is, well, Andrew Cuomo hasn't sniffed any children lately. Oh, boy. <laughs> This guy's presidential. <laughs> we really didn't think that sniffing kids thing was going to go off as much as it did. <laughs> like the DNC is just like, I thought all those photos where he's sniffing women and children, you know, we thought that we thought they would never resurface in the age of the Internet where everybody pays attention to everything all the time. Now that now that it has, uh, what I don't know. What do we do? King Democrat Joe Biden is kind of a kind of a, a creepy son of a bitch. C Cuomo, he doesn't say poor people should die in a weird half sentency way, uh, but he's kind of the opposite of that. He's kind of the opposite of the way that he's really presented. Um, Andrew Cuomo in uh, 2013 cut 500 beds in a Brooklyn hospital. Hasn't done anything to help uh, hospitals in the Bronx, which um, I believe is a predominantly black neighborhood, black borough of New York. I believe. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is uh, accurate. I might not be, though. Um, if I am, comment in that comment section. Um, and and right now, during, during this pandemic, he cut uh, in order to you know, do the budget for the state of New York. He cut $400 billion from Medicaid, uh, and that is his austerity measures. We're being stern to defeat this virus. We're going to defeat it through American hubris and exceptionalism. Cuomo! Uh, he did that to secure the health care system. He cut the, he cut Medicaid, uh, you know, so so now if you have, you know, the Medicaid, you might not be able to go to the hospital. Uh, and I guess the virus is like, oh, well, I mean, if people aren't going to go to the hospital, what is the point of infecting them? Because you know how viruses operate. They always look at the bottom line and uh, the profit motives of things. So uh, in order to keep this, keep these budget cuts and this austerity measure that he wants to do, um, to scare the virus with austerity, blah, 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 austerity, uh, you know, and the coronavirus is like, oh my God, go to Canada. They have no austerity in Canada. Go, go, get it. Do we have our papers? Does the virus have its papers? Because we have to cross the border. Did we bother to get a passport? In order to keep these austerity measures, 
uh, Andrew Cuomo uh, refuses six billion dollar federal aid uh, in order to make sure that his budget cuts will stay the way that it is. Because in order, to, if he does get the federal aid, he's not going to be able to to to, uh, to make these budget cuts. He's not going to be able to cut and slash and do all these things, right? Um, so he wants he wanted to keep his four four hundred million dollar uh, Medicaid cut and refuse a six billion dollar federal aid uh, that would have helped the hospital systems. Uh, you know, like right now, it's like fucking New York City. They're 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 like digging mass graves and shit. It's crazy. That's fucking nuts. Uh, you know, ho- the hospital system is is overwhelmed. Uh, it, and what is budget for 2020 did not include um, is property or wealth taxes for the ultra rich. Um, they got cuts. They're not being taxed on that stuff. Uh, which you know, when you talk to these people. They're like, well, if we tax the rich, they're not going to want to do uh, business here. They're, they're going to go elsewhere. What if they go to Delaware, for fuck's sake? That's Joe Biden's state. You know, they're, they're all going to get sniffed. Who is going to want to live in a state where they can't afford health care? Who is going to want to live in a state where um, you, you declined $6 billion of federal aid Made four hundred million dollar cuts in, um, in 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 a Medicaid program to help your uh, most vulnerable people, uh, on top of other cuts that you made, and essentially ended up. It, it, by the end of it, he 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 um, he forgoed nine billion dollars of aid. If you look at the cuts that he made and the aid that he refused. But it's okay, right? Because he sounds nice. He forms these sentences and he speaks with, he makes these pauses that make him sound, you know, like he cares. He's watched some De Niro performances, you know? He he watched Mr. Smith goes to Washington. He saw how impassioned that actor was. And he was like, I could probably replicate that. That doesn't seem so hard. I mean, he uses these $5 words, so he's got to be. I mean, he's got he's to be a good guy. You know, he sounds like he scored really well on the SATs. So it's okay when he fucks over the poor. It's okay. It's fine. No big deal. At least when he's fucking over the poor... You know, it, it, it sounds eloquent. Oh, yes. As he's, as he's destroying the lives of many working class in America, it, it, it's the sweet sound of opening up a champagne bottle that we'll never be able to afford. And, oh, yes, uh, and, and eating some caviar. That's, that's the sound of Andrew Cuomo. The doctors and nurses do not like this guy. <laughs> Uh, there's a couple reports of, uh, you know, some alternative news media and it's talked to some doctors and nurses and they're basically like, this guy is the reason why we are in the, the situation that we're in, um, when it comes to the shoddy healthcare system that we're in, um, you know, because he cut the beds, uh, because, um, You know, basically the hospital managers were like, hey, these beds are empty and we can't really make any money off of them. So what's up? Uh, And Cuomo was like, fine, we'll cut them. So hospital beds get cut because, uh, you know, the healthcare system is is pointing in the way of uh, making money and not actually helping people when they need to help people. So because it's not making them a profit, they cut the beds and Cuomo was all for that. Um, you know, he supports the profit driven thing. And all of a sudden now he's like, well, we got to take care of sick people. And he says that, and then he cuts, he makes more budget cuts, uh, towards an already strained healthcare system. But if you had healthcare on a government system, if you had a Medicare for all, if you had a universal healthcare program where everybody had opted in and and the healthcare was already paid for because it was a nationalized uh, system rather than a privatized system, a public system, uh, regardless of who was using that bed, the hospitals get paid anyway. Still, still think Medicare for all is, is worse. 
now that we're now that we're in a situation where where it, you know beds were cut because the hospital wasn't making any money and now we need all of those beds back again hospitals monetize sickness right the insurance company monetized the ill the private uh, privatization of of healthcare monetized human life and andrew cuomo Andrew Cuomo wants to make a little money on the back end of all of those things. That's who Andrew Cuomo really is. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and a subscribe and a share. Share it out with your friends, your enemies, whoever you think would enjoy content like this. I'm going to be putting out videos like this every single day so make sure you are subscribed to the channel uh, and make sure you hit that bell so you get all the alerts from all the videos that i put out there uh and uh and if you if you have the means to uh please consider making a, a donation i know we are all in tough times but if you if you can uh you can become a sustaining member or make a one-time donation at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. You can check out various different ways of becoming a sustaining member or just make a one-time donation. Uh, while you're on my website, you can also check out all of my past comedy albums, which are available on all of your favorite streaming and um, downloading websites, if that's, that's, if that's a way that you can you say that. Uh, <laughs> but they're also available on Bandcamp, which uh, right now is giving the most back to artists. Uh, but also on my Bandcamp, they are all available for a pay what you want if you would like to enjoy some live stand-up comedy albums from me and you don't have the means if you're in tough times that's totally fine you can download it for free go ahead and get it for free and enjoy it uh or if you do and if you want somebody else to enjoy it you can get it to them as a gift uh that's also a, a recommended thing uh but most importantly thank you guys for tuning into this video um, thank you guys for, for all the people that have already donated, that have already become patrons. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And uh, until the next video, we'll see you on the road. Thank you, guys.